Good morning, everybody. I am getting ready to leave on my elk hunt um, in two days. The season starts in three days, but we're going to get up in the mountains. And I thought I would show you what's in my pack for my very first backcountry elk hunt. Now, I backpack hunted before. Um, I went to Alaska with my father-in-law. We got dropped off, um, hunted for I think it was eight, seven or eight days. Lived out of a backpack. <clears throat> Uh, we had a little bit more luxuries because we could bring some more stuff, but this is my first backcountry trip for elk hunting. Uh, backcountry hiked, backcountry camp, so I'm familiar with most of the gear, but this is my first time specifically elk hunting. So I wanted to show you what's in my pack for my first backcountry elk hunt. Let's start off right on the back of my pack. I have my bow. It's clipped in here with the locking clips from Stone Glacier so they don't slip or slide when you're hiking. Here's my bow. If you watched the, a previous video, I set this bow up. It's the Hoyt RX-7 2022. Um, Schaefer Rest, Sword 2-Pin Adjustable Sight, Conquest Archery Quiver. It's the coolest thing ever. It's got this little clip right here, pinches in the middle, and just attaches right to your bow super easy super functional you can carry seven arrows five in the front and then there's two in the back so specifically for this hunt i have a deer tag and an elk tag so hopefully i don't have to use seven arrows but i'll have one we can practice with and then plenty of arrows with broadheads ready set up to go i'm shooting the easton axis four mil long range arrows with the montec m3s they're a three blade, solid piece. They're flying super straight, they're super sharp, and they are gonna kill an elk. So yeah, so there's my setup for my bow. We'll set this back here. And then left side of my pack, I have my bugle tube. Once I get up there, it'll be on my shoulder, but that's just for the pack in. My right side of my pack, I was able to clip on my tent. It's a Kelty two-person tent. It weighs just over two pounds with the rain fly and is extremely easy to set up. So, so super recommend this tent, I love it. So there's that. I am running the Stone Glacier Solo 3300. And Actually, it's possibly the 3500. I'm not quite sure. But anyways, it's not necessarily recommended for this long of a trip, but I was able to get everything in here super easy. And so I actually took some cheap, I took the lid off my old backpack and it actually fits on the top of my stone glacier. So in my lid, right in the top, I have stuff that I might want to get to every day super easy playing cards for when we're bored. Extra wind checker, face paint in case I get crazy. Medicine, eye drops, allergy medicine, toothpaste, a pair of gloves, my fork and spoon, and a band-aid, one solitary band-aid. That's in that pocket. This fork spoon knife combo is I think one of the coolest setups I've found. There's a million different options out there, but this one clips together. It's made by UCO and it comes apart. And when you're stirring your mountain house stuff, it is nice because it clips together and then you have this super long stir handle. You got spoon, fork, and then a knife on this side and then when you're all done it just clicks back together doesn't really matter how much it weighs because it's this little piece of plastic it's not heavy at all so I love this right here so that's in my top pocket in this back pocket I have a pouch I like to keep things in pouches so you can get to them pretty easy this is kind of my kill kit I have a tarp so if we're out there and it starts to rain, we can make a little shelter. 
Um, and then if we kill a bowl, we can have a meat tarp to lay out, keep things clean. Electrical tape for taping tags on or taking cups up. A bunch of paracord. I don't think you can have too much of this because you can use it to tie up um, a quarter, put st hang stuff up in a tree, tie your shelter up, tie a leg up when you're chopping your, your elk up. I have some flagging, some trail marking. Because if we kill a bull, um, I can easily make a, put a couple flags up for our buddies who are gonna come in and help us out. Hopefully, they would wanna come. I have two knives in here. Um, I have the Havilon replaceable blade knife which has been a great, awesome knife. And then this year I wanted to try something new. So I have a, Gerber makes it, it's called the Exo Blade. It's like their ultra light fixed mountain knife. And so I wanted to try a fixed blade out and see how I liked it. Cause I don't necessarily like fussing with the replaceable blades especially when you're changing your blade and your hands are all dirty. I have cut myself and they're so sharp. And so I wanted to try a fixed blade. So I'm gonna carry two knives in there. Um, that's in there. I have a knife sharpener by Work Sharp. It is like $2 and it comes with, you know, there's like multiple different ways to sharpen your knife on here. And this thing is awesome. And last but not least, I have two extra pieces of D-loop material in case your D, my D-loop breaks or my buddy's D-loop breaks, I can tie on a new D-loop there right in the field. So that is super important for me to carry just to make sure you always can shoot your bow. Okay, that's what's in my lid. Nothing else in this lid I can take and flip to the back. It gives me access to my backpack. In this pocket, I currently have nothing besides two extra buckles and some webbing rubber bands. So once, you know, I could rubber band my webbing up if I need to. I don't know, it's just in there and I left it in there. So I don't necessarily have a plan for this pocket yet. I'm, I'll find something to put in there, but right now it's empty. Then you open up your main compartment. And right on top, I have a headlamp, which can go in a pouch. And then I have, this blue bag has coffee pouches, a jar of peanut butter, and some daily vitamins that I can put in my water. So I like to bring a small, jar of store brand crunchy peanut butter because it's a really easy snack and it's got a bunch of protein in it and you'll be good to go and then I have backcountry coffee packs from Skull Brew they're super sweet because it's pre-packaged coffee that just opens up stick it in your cup pour some water through it and you got a cup of coffee so a little mountain pour over for the mornings that is kind of my morning. Eat some peanut butter, drink some coffee, have some vitamins, pouch. And then I have the long guy, and this is filled with my food. And something that I like to do is I take each day and it gets vacuum sealed together. So I'm gonna actually leave this big pouch of food at camp and just take one day's worth of food when we're day hunting from our camp. So I have each day packed of food and then down at the bottom, I have a mountain house and or peak fuel for dinner each night. So I wanted to conserve how much water we had to use and so I'm only doing one freeze dried meal a day. The rest would be peanut butter jelly sandwich, granola bars, oatmeal. So. Super simple, as m as little amount of water as I could use. I wanted to stay light on the water. Then red is hot, is fire. And in here I have my jet boil. 
with my lighter on the side. I have an extra lighter in my kill kit. And then two cans of fuel. Uh, one is full and one is about half full. But I think for, for six days, for one person, one canister is plenty. Uh, I just like to have two in case we do kill early, then you don't have to conserve your water and so I can have more coffee, I can make more meals. Um, yeah, so I like to carry a little bit extra. It doesn't hurt me to have a couple extra ounces in fuel just to be safe. Then I have this, which is pretty sweet. This is a little tiny pillowcase my mom made me. And once I get to camp, my extra clothes go in this pillowcase. Raincoat, rain pants, get shoved into here, along with my extra base layer. It all goes into this pillow case and then I have a pillow in my tent. So I don't have to carry an inflatable pillow or a foam pad or anything like that. I just carry this little pillowcase that my mom so nicely made me. And it's pink, got some pink stripes on it. So I'll be sleeping in style. So yeah, raincoat, rain pants, and an extra base layer. It's going to be lows of like 51, highs of, I mean 95 one day. And so, I'm bringing one set of clothes, a pair of pants, a t-shirt, a base layer that has a hood on it, and then an extra base layer, two pairs of socks, and I'll just switch them out each day to say super light. Um, yeah, it's not gonna be hot. I mean, it's not gonna be cold. It's really not gonna rain, so not gonna, I don't need a bunch of clothes. So, but I do need coffee. And then in the bottom, I saw this another on another video and it, actually is a huge space saver is if you take your sleeping bag out of its stuff sack and just jam it in the bottom it fills up all the corners of your bag instead of just being this ball and having wasted space in all the corners and so you just take your sleeping bag and jam it in the bottom of your pack and everything sits on it on the top like a little shelf so this is the marmot nano wave 35 degree bag it is a tiny sleeping bag. Um, it does have a little quilted pillow in there, but it is a sweet little bag that is tiny. So, yeah, super lightweight. And in the very bottom of my pack, I have game bags. Game bags inside this Stone Glacier pack. They have an interior pocket that's for a spotting scope, but where we're going, we don't need a spotting scope because there's way too many trees. There's really not a good place to glass from. So this interior pocket becomes toilet paper, sleeping pad, and this is the, I'm doing some testing. This is the cheapest sleeping pad that you can find. It's on Amazon, I think for like, $18.99, it takes about 10 breaths to blow up. It looks like every other backcountry blow up sleeping mat, but it doesn't have a name brand on it and it is not expensive. So I'm gonna see if this can last me. I do have some patches in here in case it does get a hole. I can throw a patch on it, but we're gonna try that out. Um, bear spray. And then some field wipes for some showers if we get super sweaty and need to shower down. So that's that. That is pretty much everything. On my right hip, I have my Nalgene. And what's really cool is if you take duct tape and wrap it around your Nalgene, I have about 30 feet of duct tape at my disposal right here on my Nalgene. So if I got a cut and I needed to tape it up or I need to fix something or my tent rips or whatever, I have ample amount of duct tape available. Doesn't add hardly any weight to your water bottle. And then write some encouraging notes on here for yourself. Is your cut really that bad? Stop crying. Um, so yeah, super cool little backcountry tip. 
to bring duct tape for first aid, safety, fixing gear, whatever it may be. Plenty of tape available. And then on my other, on my left hip, I have the medium pouch. I have my tags and then my inhaler because I have asthma and I'm like, oh, I can't breathe. My inhaler will go in here um, and my ID. So it'll be right there on my hip. And then on my chest, I will have, on my chest I'll have the marsupial gear, vinyl harness with my binoculars, my wind checker, chapstick, and on this side, my rangefinder. And super important to keep your rangefinder attached to your vinyl harness or to your backpack or something because they're easy to lose they're the same color as the woods and if you're arranging something and need to drop it it's staying attached to you so i've seen a lot of guys that don't have their rangefinders attached and that always would worry me so keep that thing attached and you'll be good to go that's a wrap for what's in my bag i'm going to pack it up one more time and make sure i got everything if there's something that you take into the mountains with you that i don't have my pack comment below what the best thing that you bring into the woods with you is or any tips or tricks on how to pack your backpack. I'm still learning. It's a new thing for me. And if you have any questions for me, comment down below and go watch my other videos. Peace.